everybody! Welcome friends, foes. I don't have any foes. You need to be relevant to have foes. Hi everyone, my name is Mundry. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me and I can get this video out to other people who are interested. Today I'm going to be doing the video no one asked for and that is a what's in my bag video. I know people really like to see these and I thought it would be really fun to make since my original video today did not go as planned. AKA my parents threw a last minute plan on me. So instead of staying home and filming a morning routine, I went to the beach. Which isn't as bad as I make it out to be, obviously. Here's a little short clip of me at the beach. Car crashes away. But anyways, if you don't want a shout out, you don't have to listen to this part. You can skip ahead to this time. But because I have a lot of active people watching my videos, I want to give you guys shout outs. So if you guys leave a thoughtful comment, I'm going to pin a comment every single video. And by pinning your comment, it'll be moved to the top so you guys can be shouted out. So if you're interested in that, just leave a thoughtful comment. I really appreciate all the people who watch my videos. And I really just want to give back to you guys. And I've done a giveaway, but this is just a different way because I know a lot of people who watch me have channels and they're working really hard as well. So yeah, that's it. Let's get right into the video. So this is my bag. It is this Michael Kors bag. I will link the style if I can find it. Probably just do an Amazon link. Um, you guys can check it out. It comes in a couple other colors from what I remember. And this was $79, $89, something like that. I got it at an outlet sale. I got it in Oregon, which if you don't know, in Oregon, they don't have sales tax. I live in California, which has the highest sales tax. So I felt really good about it. Basically, this was the first thing I bought with my money. I was a tutor. The se my senior year of high school, I'm now at the end of my freshman year of college. So yeah, this was this felt really good. And it's the only designer purse I own, I believe. It's pretty full and it looks really small. But it actually holds a lot. If you can see, it's like pretty wide. The thing I like about this is I had this enormous wallet and it fits in here and that was like the biggest appeal. I was checking which bags like fit my wallet and I really like that. I'm gonna show you guys what's in the bag, but I just wanted to mention this is adjustable. It is this nice tan shade, and it has this buckle right here. These buckles can also be taken off if you wanted, or if something breaks. You can see that it's pretty high quality leather, and these aren't just like some cheap plastic or low quality metal. The other thing is, because I bought it from the store, if you ever like, for example, there's like a couple of dots and things on here, I could get it fixed anytime. Obviously, I'm not gonna do that now, but if I wanted to, that is possible. And then right here, if you see, there is this lovely gold zipper, just a single gold zipper. And yeah, the gold looks really good with the tan in my opinion. The one thing is they're like on the sides, it's a little bit open. Might be susceptible to pickpocketing, except I don't really have anything that is big enough that can come out of here, so maybe not. We're not gonna get onto the actual purse. First, I put my phone in there. Okay, let, let me show you how big it is inside. I could probably fit more in there and everything in there is like pretty wide and big, but that is insane in my opinion. I will show you guys what the empty bag looks like because there's actually quite a few like zippers and pocket holders in there, which is pretty amazing in my opinion for a pretty like basic level bag. Obviously I picked this because it's in, like a neutral color. It literally goes with everything. Once I got this, I was wearing it with everything. Like I said, I have a phone in there. The phone, my phone, obviously. Who am I? Is this woman? I mean, it could be one day. Definitely not now. I'm an 18 year old broke college student. So I have this lotion in there. It is the Body Shop lotion in Moringa. I have dry body parts, like my elbows and, okay, when I said body parts, that sounded inappropriate. All I meant was my, my hands and elbows, but there's not like a word that encompasses both hands and elbows without saying hands and elbows. Okay, I've over explained it, ignore me. But yeah, basically just some body shop lotion. It's this like nice travel size. I also have hand sanitizer. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have hand sanitizer before this whole thing in there. Only because I just wash my hands in a public place, but now I'm just like safer, <laughs> I'd rather be safe than sorry. Although I have to say I don't really go out enough. I kind of just hang out at home, mainly because I moved back home. Basically I don't need to buy my own groceries because my parents just do that and they don't want us to leave the house, so. Next, I have these glasses. Zenny has the most affordable glasses. I'm gonna leave the link below for them. But yeah, my glasses I'm wearing right now from Zenny and 
I think some insurances you can put on there, but $30 is cheaper than like going to your eye doctor and paying for it. It always ends up being like $150, so these are just my spare glasses. I keep them in there. It's just convenient. You never know when you need spare glasses, and because these are so cheap, I actually ordered like quite a few of them, so I end up saving a ton of money. These glasses are actually $15. The frame is like $8, the lenses, and some anti-reflective coating, because when I drive at night, it's, it's annoying otherwise. I, in, in total, my two pairs of glasses were $28 because I ordered a backup just because you never know when something's going to break, you never know when you're going to forget something, I'm a klutz and a mess, so yeah. Anyways, my point is, two pairs of glasses for $28 is so cheap. One thing that I don't have right now because I haven't had time to repurchase it is gum. Mm -hmm. I miss having gum all the time just because sometimes my breath feels like kind of crabby or I don't have water or I don't want to drink water, I'd rather just chew gum, so I have a hair tie. I kind of like these. Although I have to say, I don't know if it's better for your hair than like normal hair ties, but you know what? It's cute. I like it. It's a cool color. It looks kind of weird when I see, like, see in the mirror when I wear, like, it's in my hair. It looks really uneven, but I really like these hair ties anyways, and I got them a couple years ago at a Black Friday sale, so I just use them. I mean, if I have them, why not use them? Next thing I have in here is my AirPods. There used to be a pom-pom on this thing, on this, like, keychain, but first of all, I never use the keychain because I don't like hanging this on my belt, like, my jean loops in my pants. Yeah, what else is made of jean? Okay, wait, jackets. So, that could be a relevant point. But yeah, I have the AirPods. They're so dirty. I don't want anyone to see them. I'm going to clean them for sure, eventually. But yeah, I have to say, I don't really like AirPods. I just got them because I have an iPhone 8 and I hate not, hated not being able to charge my phone at the same time as listening to music. So, and I don't have a wireless charger. Or the one I have is kind of cheap, so it doesn't really finicky job. Point is, I got these for that reason, and my AirPods constantly have problems connecting to my phone, to my laptop. Only one will connect sometimes, and sometimes it'll say it'll be dying when I've been using it for like 15 minutes, even though I've charged it everywhere. I, I have so many problems with this. The sound quality isn't that great. Anytime I listen to anything on this, even though the volume is low, people are like, yeah, I can hear you, and I'm like, well, sorry. You know, like, what can I do? This case is from Amazon. It's not anything particularly cute. I'll find it, and I'll link it if you like it. I have the pom-pom board, I just, you know what, it fell off, it was just more maintenance, so yeah. Next thing I have is an ordinary pen, you never know when you need to write something. I meant to add a little notepad because you never know when, um, oh I have a second pen in here. This is a Papermate Inkjoy pen, I don't know where I got this from. And then I have a big pen, just, you know, you never know when you need to write something. People constantly ask me for pens and I just, I just started keeping them in there, I have so many pens anyways. I do need to start putting paper in my... First, I just need to bring like a little notepad. Next, I have my wallet. This is a Kipling wallet. I really like the Kipling wallet. I believe this was 30 bucks. I got this probably three or four years ago. As you can see, this used to once be silver and now it is this dirty sort of color. I will not be buying a wallet until this thing literally falls apart and it hasn't. The only thing that's fallen apart, the center of the wallet, if you can see, is like this coin purse. And unfortunately, the zipper broke off on that. And I have this, which is the like zipper thingy, but I haven't like gone around fixing it and it just ends up being super annoying. So my wallet, I really like the way it's organized. Let's make sure I don't reveal any personal information. Okay, so you can see the way that this is. On this side, I have cash. I have my library cards, basically non-essential cards over here. And like, you know these like buy one, get one free things, like like for boba and stuff. I have this. Um, this one's from a boba place in Davis where I go to school. Yeah, basically like non-essential stuff. I also get my driver's license, my student ID card. It's just a coin purse. This has some other non-essential cards. And then I have like credit cards on the side and then gift cards here. And then here I have receipts. And then on the back, there's like a like thin spot. I'm too scared to put stuff in here because things fall out, but I keep non-valuable things like this Pokemon card. I work at the summer camp and someone dropped it and I just, I put it there and I haven't thought about it. So for the like layout of this bag, I would literally recommend this to everyone. You can, I could put a book in here to be honest. So inside the bag, there is this like zipper up here, super spacious. If you want to hide anything or just like some super private stuff you're scared of getting stolen, you can definitely put it here. On the other side, there's this pocket. It is not zippable, but it's 
definitely super cool. This is where I used to keep my gum. It's honestly so, so nice. As you can see, the inside of the bag is a little bit dirty. I definitely need to get it cleaned when I get the chance, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. You guys can check out my other videos in the description box and the cards up ahead. You guys can also follow me on Instagram or check out my podcast. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like I said, I really appreciate it. I am so excited that I'm growing and all of your guys' support literally means the world to me. Anyhow, that is it for today's video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!